Shall we work in the garden today? Let's explore some plants. A tree is a plant, just a really, really big plant. But how did it get to be so big, so tall, with so many branches and leaves, reaching up to the sky? All plants start small before they grow tall. Do you see any clues in this tree about how a plant might start to grow? Did you guess a seed? That's right. That's where a plant begins its growth. So are you ready to get your hands dirty? I am. We've got some soil. We've got some seeds and we got some water. So let's do it. Let's plant some seeds. And the seeds we're planting today are for plants that are edible. Once these are grown and they start to produce seed pods, you will actually be able to pull the seed pods off when they're ripe, open up the seed pods, you can see the seed pods right here, and eat the peas. First thing we're going to do is take a cup nice and clear so that the sunshine can get through it and this is going to hold the soil and the seeds and the water and the first thing that your teacher is going to do is take the cup turn it upside down take a pair of scissors Ooh, those are sharp open them up like this and point the scissors down at the center of the bottom of the cup and you're going to press just a little bit until you hear a crack why are we doing this because Whatever container you put seeds in, it has to have a hole of some kind at the bottom so the water drains out. If the water doesn't drain out, basically the seeds drown. They get too much water, they get soggy, they get moldy, and they can't grow. <clears throat> I'm going to test the cup and make sure that the water drains out. Put a little bit of water in. A little bit more. Let's look and see. Is it dripping out? That tells you there's enough of a crack in the bottom of the cup so that the water that you put in after you plant the seeds will drain out and your seeds will be healthy. What do you think a seed needs so it can grow? Your seeds need some place to live. That's where soil comes in. We're going to pour some soil in the cup. Many of you have already done this before. Maybe you've done it at home. Maybe you've done it in your classroom. We're using these plastic cups so that we'll be able to see when the seed actually starts to germinate, when it starts to grow, and little roots start to sprout out of it. So I'm shoving the seed down along the edge, about uh, as deep as my first knuckle, so that you can actually see the seed through the side of the cup. Once your seed is covered in soil, it might be easy to forget what seed you've planted. So let's give this plant a label. Maybe you can write the plant name yourself, or your teacher will be happy to help you. I'm wondering, do you think the seed might be thirsty? Let's pour some water into the soil and watch it collect at the top and then it's going to trickle down, down, down and give the seed a drink. How can you tell if a plant needs to be watered or if it has enough water? Use the finger test. Put your finger in the soil. Down, down, down as far as you can go. If you pull your finger back up and there is no moisture, that soil is dry and that seed needs water. It is thirsty. Now, if you put your finger in the soil, same way, as far down as you can go, and pull it back up, and there's moisture on your finger, what does that tell you? That plant has just enough water. It does not need any more. Our seed now has many things that it needs to grow. It has soil, it has water, and it has air, which is all around us. But there is one more thing this seed needs to help it grow. Do you know what that might be? 
sunshine. That's what your seed needs. So when you're all done planting, be sure to set it outside where it can get lots of sunshine. Good luck, little green seed. I know the children will be sure to take care of you. They'll water you and watch you as you grow and grow and grow. And in return, you will give us sweet, delicious peas to eat, which we'll also use as seeds. And we'll plant those to grow more plants, which will make more seeds, which will make more plants, and so on. Here's a question for you. If a plant comes from a seed, but a seed comes from a plant, which came first, a plant or a seed? What do you think?